Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio and in today's video we're going to be discussing about handling images in Flutter. So we're going to be clicking the images from the camera, we're going to be selecting the images from the gallery itself and then with the selected image we're going to crop that image. We're going to crop that uh, in a one by one aspect ratio and then display the image in this placeholder. So uh, this kind of functionality is required in most of your apps because you want the user to set their profile picture. So this tutorial is going to be quite useful in your routine apps uh, that you build in Flutter. So let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm in a simple app and I have these two buttons that do not do anything. So uh, what I have here is a simple stateful widget that is called my home page and it's given to you by the default Flutter app. Uh, I have a simple scaffold in which I have a column and in that I have this function uh, that is called get image widget. So basically what it does is I have a simple file that is in the state of the uh, state of the my home page that is called selected file and what get image widget function does is it checks for the selected file and if the file is not null it presents you with a file in an image widget and uh, if the selected file is null it presents you with an image that is coming from the assets here that I have imported in my package with a placeholder.jpg so other than that I do have two buttons here one is for the camera and the other is for the device to pick the images from the gallery so this is a simple layout so now what we got to do is we have to add functionality to this camera and the device buttons okay so the first thing that we need to achieve is to click the images from the camera or get the images from the device and for getting that we're going to be using a simple library that is called image picker that is a flutter package so uh, right now it's at version 0.6.3 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code that is in the installation section of this package and we're going to go to our project and add that to the dependencies okay so once you have added that make sure to click on packages upgrade and close this pubspec.yaml so after adding the library to the dependencies what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple function here that is called get image and this function is going to help us in getting the image from the camera or from the gallery using the image picker the way this thing works is um, we're going to make this an async function because the image picker is going to give us a future of the type of file so when we try to pick an image so we're gonna make this an asynchronous function we're gonna use file and let's just name this image and uh, this is going to be returned us from the image picker and this pick image function of the image picker is going to take a source and we're going to pass a source that is called image picker image source dot camera for just now and this is an asynchronous uh, function so we're gonna uh, be returned with an await here because this is going to return us a future and we want to wait till it returns with the, the data of the file so once we have the image we need to crop this image to get a one by one aspect ratio so for that what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a simple library that is called image cropper so this is also a very elegant package that gives you quite a bit of functionality to work with cropping the image you can see that from the uh, representations down here and it also gives you with separate uh, user interfaces for Android and iOS so we're gonna be using this quite nice package in our application so for that I'm gonna go to this installation section and um, I'm gonna copy the dependency uh, with the latest version here I'm gonna go to this pubspack.yaml and add the same to uh, the dependencies section and click on packages upgrade and once the package is upgraded I'm going to close this pubspack.yaml and uh, let me just go to the instructions that we have to use for this image cropper because it's also dependent on third-party libraries for native Android and iOS so once we go to the readme section here it says that for using in Android you have to add this bit of code to your Android manifest file so basically this is dependent upon some other native Android library so we have to add that activity in our Android manifest file so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code and uh, go to the Android section here in my flutter image app and in the app section in the source section in the main folder when we have this Android manifest file and in that I'm going to add this activity 
by coming down to the main activity and pasting the code here. So other than that, you see that there is no configuration required for the iOS site and there are other parameters that it's explaining, but I'm going to explain that to you right now in our tutorial. So uh, we have this image that is given to you by the image picker by the source of camera. So what we can do right now is instead of getting the source from the camera, we can pass the source as an argument to this get image function so that we can use the same function for both our camera and the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it an argument of image source that is called source and we're going to let me just spell check that source and we're going to pass the same source to this function. With the help of this, we don't have to create separate functions for same kind of functionality and we are good to go with this one also. Okay, so once we get the image, we're going to use the image cropper to crop the image further. So the image cropper, once it crops the image, it's also going to return you with a simple file. So let's just uh, name this resized or cropped. And uh, it's also going to be asynchronous. We're going to write await and uh, we're going to use image cropper dot crop image. So this is going to take a bit of uh, uh, arguments to work correctly. So the first one is the source path. So this is going to be the path of the file that is given to you by this image picker. So we're going to simply use image dot path. That is the property of the image type file. And other than that, we have a bit of other parameters. But first, I'm going to add this semicolon. And we have all these parameters to pass to this image cropper. So the first one I'm going to use is the aspect ratio. So we're going to pass this aspect ratio. So this is going to take an argument of uh, aspect ratio, crop aspect ratio. And this is going to take a uh, ratio X and ratio Y. So the, we're going to keep it one by one. So I'm going to pass one as the ratio X and one as the ratio y and other than the aspect ratio we can also pass the compression quality that is going to be between 1 and 100 so I'm gonna pass 100 because I don't really want to compress the image and uh, we're gonna pass some maximum width and height right now I'm gonna just keep that at 700 and max height to 700 so that it also compresses the image so we don't have to rely on any third-party library for that and also with that we have the compression format so this is going to be important if you're going to pick up any PNG or any other type of files you want the files to be of a certain format if you want to uh, make them compatible throughout your application so I do prefer JPEG images for their compression quality so what, I need, what I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use compress format and image compress format that is the JPEG and I'm going to remove that S and other than that, it do have two other properties that is called Android UI settings and iOS UI settings. So this is the great part of this image cropper package that it allows a different uh, user interface for the Android users to crop the image and a separate user interface for the iOS users because it really depends upon two different libraries for both Android and iOS. So uh, for this Android UI settings, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a simple class that is also given to you by this image cropper package and that is called Android UI settings. So this Android UI settings property is going to take an instance of this Android UI settings class which further gives you, gives you a lot of properties to deal with. So the simple properties that I'm going to use in this tutorial are this toolbar color. So we're going to change that to colors dot um, deep orange let's say and we are also going to use toolbar title so let's just call this um, uh, rps cropper and other than that there are other properties like background color and status bar color so for the status bar color i'm going to pass colors dot um, deep orange dot shade um, i'm going to use 900 so it's going to be a bit dark and also the background color. So for that, I'm gonna use colors.white. And there are a lot more other properties like crop frame color. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use these properties. And for the iOS users, there are also some iOS settings that you can check out uh, here in the documentation for this uh, image cropper. 
And by coming down here, you can see that there is a single property that is called uh, iOS UI settings that calls the minimum aspect ratio. So I'm just going, I'm not going to use that. Uh, okay, so what we can do now is we have to check first that whether this image is not equal to null. And if this image is null, we don't have to do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass an if else statement and I'm going to pass image is not equal to null. And only in that case, we're going to set the cropper. And once the file is cropped after await, we're going to set state. So we're going to call this dot set state. And in the set state, I'm going to change the value of this uh, selected file. Okay, so what we're doing here is in the get image function, we're getting the type of source that we want to use. And depending upon that source, we're going to use image picker. And uh, once the image picker gives us the image, we're checking if the image is not equal to null. And if the image is not equal to null, we're going to use image cropper. And the image cropper takes in the path, the aspect ratio, the quality, and all the uh, other properties that it needs to work correctly. And once it does its job, it gives us a file that we have named here the cropped. And once we get the file, we're going to set state and we're going to set the selected file to cropped. So let's just use this function in our code actually. So in this material button that is going to be used for camera, we're going to use get image and we're going to use uh, the source that is image source dot camera. And for the other button, we're going to use the same code, but we're going to pass the image source as gallery. Okay, so right now we're ready to use uh, all the above written code and we're ready with the image picker and the cropper itself. Okay, so once I have added all this code, I want to close the application and restart that because we have added the activity to the Android section. And once the application is restarted, we go to the app and you can see that uh, our app is running fine. Okay, so as soon as I click on the camera button, you can see that it asks for the camera that is the default app camera and the Pixar camera. So I'm gonna select the camera and click on just once and it presents us with the camera feed and when I click on the camera uh, and it saves the image and we can click on the OK button and it takes us to the app and the cropper appears. And you can see that the color of the uh, status bar and the color of the toolbar are changed according to our preference. And you can also scale the image and it's given to you in an aspect ratio of one by one. And there is also a scale that you can adjust according to your use case. And uh, you can also rotate the image by clicking on this rotate button. So once you click on the tick button on the top right hand corner, you can see that the image is displayed in the uh, image widget created using this uh, get image widget function uh, declared above. Okay, so when you click on this device button, you can see that the device menu opens and you can go to any of your images. I'm just going to use this one uh, right here. I'm going to click on that image and click on the tick button. And you can see that the same image is being displayed in your app also. So this is a simple implementation for using the camera and the device. And we're using the image picker to crop the image to a one by one aspect ratio to display that in our application. So the next thing that we're going to cover in this is we have a small gap. So when you click on the camera image, you can see that the camera button appears and we select on the camera and we click on the image and we click on the OK button. It comes back to the app and waits for a second and then goes to the cropper. So in between that time, if the user clicks on any other button, so our app is going to crash. So we need to address that and we need to find a solution for that kind of behavior in our application. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so for addressing that minor pause between the image picker and the image cropper, what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple variable that is of type boolean and is called in process. We're going to keep that private, in process. So we're going to set that to false initially. And uh, what we're going to do is in the get image function, we're going to initially set the state of uh, the in process to true because the user is trying to get the image either from the camera or from the device. So we're going to use this dot set state and in the set state, we're going to set the state of in process to true. And if the image picker successfully gives us the image, we're going to crop the image. And uh, once we get the image uh, in the cropped file, 
Uh, we're going to set that in the selected file and we're also going to set the in process to false because we have now uh, retrieved the image in the cropped and we have set the selected file. And in the other case, when the image picker fails to give you the uh, required file, that is the image, we're going to create another else statement here. So we have a check here that is called if image is not equal to null. And if the image is null, what we're going to do is we're going to use this dot set state and we're going to set the in process to false. And we're not going to do anything with the selected file because we don't really need to change that. Okay, so for the way we're going to use this in process boolean is that we're going to come da uh, down to this column and instead of this being the direct child of the body, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this column from here. We're going to cut this uh, column widget and instead of that we're going to place a stack and in the stack we're going to pass in the children and the first ch child is going to be this uh, um, column. So other than this column what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to check a ternary operator that is going to check in the in process and if the in process is true we're going to pass in another widget that is going to be a container which is going to have a height and in the height we're going to pass media query dot off context dot size dot height and also in that we are not going to give the complete height we're going to use point uh, 95% of the height and we're going to pass in the child of the container and uh, for the child of the container we're gonna pass in um, a simple loading sign for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass in a center and with the center I'm gonna pass in a child of circular progress indicator and that is going to show just a loading sign and uh, other than the container if the in process is uh, false we're going to simply pass in a center that does not display anything. So we also need to pass in the color of the container that is going to be colors.white. Okay, so once we have the app running, I'm going to come back to the device and I'm going to test the app. Uh, so I'm going to use the camera and call in the um, camera and you can click the image and then wait for the image to appear. And when we click on OK, you can see that the waiting sign is there and there is no activity and you can click on this uh, uh, camera and click on OK and you can see that uh, the uh, image appears on the device and there was no uh, in-between activity that is being shown to the user. This widget only appears once the user has actually retrieved the image and have cropped the image. So that gap between the image picker and the image cropper is removed by using this simple uh, boolean that is in process and we set the boolean um, to true when we start to retrieve the image and we set the boolean to false when we have retrieved the image or we fail to retrieve the image. So depending upon that state of the in process, we're displaying a container with a loading sign or you can pass in anything that you want. So as you can see that this is really a simple code to just pick up the images from the gallery and pick up the images from uh, the camera and then crop them into uh, whatever aspect ratio that you want. You can learn more about the aspect ratio that the image cropper supports. This is really a well-documented package that you can use in your applications and this really takes away the tedious process that you have to go in the native code and then crop the images and everything that you have to do to just pick up the images from the camera and crop them. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and if you like the tutorial, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh, thank you for your support on the channel. I really am glad that you are liking my tutorials and I will keep coming up with uh, more better ones. So see you next time. Peace.